back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans, and today I'm going to be planning in my catch-all planner, the Big Happy Planner, for the week of October 26th through November 1st. So this is a Halloween week spread. I've been kind of playing around with some ideas, and I pulled some stickers already. So this is the first batch of stickers that I pulled. So I have all these, like, Halloween cats up here. This area is a little bit of wrong, wrong stuff. We got, like, a Hello November sticker from the Tiny Fall sticker pad colorful boxes, little garlands, that kind of thing. In my second sheet, I just kind of was playing around with ideas for what I wanted to do on the weekend. So I have this bat cat, um, a garland, and this sticker that says going batty, and this is from Eau Claire's Creations. I have a whole sheet of these quote stickers that I want to play around with, but this is kind of where I'm starting off. So I guess because I know what I want to do with the weekend, I'm going to start with this section. I think I was going to try to do it Saturday, Sunday, but the garland is a little too big to do um, just two days. So I'm going to kind of center it amongst Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which is fine because Friday is a weekend day for me. Um, no classes on Fridays. I do work on Fridays, but not enough to like make it a day that I'm busy the whole day. Whited out a spot so my bat cat's wing won't have a line intersecting it, even though it is a black wing, um, just to be extra sure. So I want it to look good. So I got my cat right there. This is the sticker sheet from Eau Claire's Creations that I'm using. I believe it is called Halloween Quotes, but don't quote me on that. That was really redundant. Um, it is clear and they have a little bit of like a glazed texture to them. I like the texture of these much better than the Happy Planner clear stickers. And that feels a little blasphemous to say, but I just like the texture of these. They just feel a little bit higher quality. So I'm an ambassador for Eau Claire's Creations. I will leave my coupon code and a link to the shop down in the description of this video. But you can use code Caitlin10 for 10% off of your order. Um, some cute fall stuff like this recently came out with a food themed line, which I'm kind of excited about, but Halloween week deserves Halloween stickers. So I'm going to put this going batty one right here. And when I was planning out this spread last night, I, um, pulled this, this cat cause I knew I wanted to do cats and I wanted to do like an orange and purple. And then I was like, I want to use these quotes because they would be really cute in this like Halloween themed spread. So I wonder which ones I could use to pair with it. So I already had this cat on the wax paper and I'm like, it would be hilarious to pair it with the bat um, quote because it's a bat cat. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to work around with this. Maybe like some gold stars would be kind of cute. It just feels a little shifted right. Um, there's all this room over here. So we'll play around with that. The sticker that says Hello November is obviously going to go on the 1st of November. And then I want to put one on Halloween that's like a Halloween sticker. So our options for that are Happy Meowloween and Halloween is Meowgical. I'm trying to say the words, it's difficult. Um, I think this one is the most Halloween specific. This one is just a general statement, so that one could go elsewhere in the spread, and this one would be the one on Halloween itself. And I'm filming this video in advance, so it is a little hard for me to tell you, like, what I've been up to. Though I can tell you what I've been up to today. And the one big highlight that I did today was that, um, I finally caved in and bought one of those FabFitFun boxes. I got the winter one. I think I also have a like a share code for $10 off your first box. So I'll put that in the description of the video as well in case you're like interested. Um, like never hurts to get some money off. But I, I just caved and I was like, I just want to try it out because I was on the internet and I saw someone released some spoilers, what was going to be in the, um, the winter box. And there were three products right off the bat that I knew that I like had wanted for a while or wanted some variation of for a while. And they were amongst the choices. 
So the way that it works is there's two like different subscription options. You can be a seasonal subscriber or you could be an annual subscri subscriber. Seasonal basically just means that you get billed um, once every three months. It's a quarterly box. And that's what I did. It's a little bit more expensive, but you have the option to kind of skip like things if you don't if you don't want to get like a box one one month or one set of months. I don't know how I feel about this. We're going with it. But anyway, I saw some spoilers for the winter box and there were um there was a Vera Bradley velvet like clutch. I am really not liking this. So a Vera Bradley like organizer clutch. There was a set of Lily Pulitzer teacups. And if you know me, I love Lily Pulitzer stuff. I just love bright patterns. Um, so that was in there. There was a Lily Sandoi velvet headband. I also love headbands. So those were the three, oh, there were Kate Spade earrings. So those were like options of things that you could pick from. And I'm like, oh, I want all of these. So I caved and I got the box, but there's a lot of other things you get. Um, I think eight products is what I remember seeing. It's so windy outside and I hate the background noise because it makes the door, um, because it makes the door like vibrate a little bit. So there's like background noise in my video now. I'm feeling a little scattered today. Um, and you can probably tell that by the way that I am jumping around from topic to topic. Hopefully editing will um, make my thoughts a little bit more cohesive. I'm trying to place this and it is not going down even. I think that's about as even as it's gonna get. I don't like how it's intersecting this box for class, but I'll have to deal with it. And I think it could be fun to do all of my class boxes kind of like down at an angle. Just like that. I like that section. Um, wanna balance it out with something over here. I probably should put work shifts in first. Got one Monday. Oh, okay. I was like trying to line it up and I'm like, why is this top box so much bigger than the one that I'm trying to place under it? It is because these boxes aren't actually colorful boxes. They are the outlines of the colorful boxes from the sticker book that I just took the backing paper once I finished all the colorful boxes and stuck the outlines onto another sheet of like printer sticker paper and then cut around them to make more colorful boxes. So that is a good way to get your money's worth on colorful box stickers. If you have just regular label paper sitting around, take the backing sheet once you're done with the page of stickers, stick it onto label paper, and then cut around it to make your own little colorful boxes. So they're kind of like this. They're a little bit bigger than um, the regular colorful boxes. So if you're using a classic planner, they're gonna be too wide for the columns because they are the bleed ink. So like the outline, um, but in a big planner like this, it's not that much of an issue. I know I tried to layer that functional box over this one. Maybe it'll be a little bit better if I just use a cat sticker and I put it over the line instead of trying to keep it within the box. And then we could even use this sticker again to put like right up here. No, that doesn't look good. This is one of my favorites, this You're Creeping Me Out of the Bat Cat. Um, so I got the cat there, so I don't want to put it on this side of the page. Probably will be best over here. And since it's in the top right corner, we're going to go bottom right corner for this one. I'm going to have to put a sidebar in eventually, but I haven't gotten around to pulling one out of a sticker book. Thursdays, I normally have meetings of some sort, so I'm going to put this one also have work, so we'll put this one right below it. I feel like I can't place stickers straight on the page today. Would it be better if I just put them in the same box instead of dropping them down over the line? Maybe. That looks pretty centered. We're going with it. I'm gonna take 
creep it real go right here just in line with this happy me halloween sometimes i have meetings on fridays too so i'm taking this one from the wrong wrong sticker book i'm gonna place it right below the creep it real one love this one that says eat drink and be spooky and i think that'll be perfect to cover up the notes icon right up here this one that says hocus percus will go right up here on wednesday got to make sure I'm getting in all of those work commitments. For this Halloween is Meowgical, we will go right here with it. Because it seems like every box has some sort of artwork except for, or every column has some sort of artwork except for this one. And Monday, I guess. <laughs> so then for Monday, we'll go with this Dracula cat. This is from the Colorful Boxes sticker book. So I am just putting it in the sidebar so I have room for like maybe a grocery list, maybe just an overall to-do list. And there's enough room right here for a title for this checklist. Maybe I could find something in orange so that I can bring the orange into the sidebar. Got some orange pumpkins and I'm gonna put one here. I might even put two there and overlap them like that. Yeah, I think that makes for this bottom row, like, to look very complete. Another pumpkin, and we're going to balance it out by putting it here on Sunday. We need some more functional space on Sunday. Maybe we put some checklists into this, too. That would make it a little more functional. So I have this sheet um, from a Colorful Boxes book that is basically done. I'm just going to go ahead and put some checklists in on days that don't have or have space for a checklist. I want to get some headers on there. I think there's some in the Wrong Wrong book. So this is the seasonal Wrong Wrong book. It is an older sticker book and it has all of these headers. And I think I want to go with like the orange and the black ones. Or at least the black ones for now. I love this like scalloped black box. Maybe we could do like one here and one there. I don't know how much it would throw off having these other boxes. Maybe we play around with it a little bit more. On this um, sheet from Eau Claire's Creations, I'm gonna take these little like plus marks, which are also like kind of creepy crosses, or at least I interpret them to be kind of creepy crosses. And we'll go and kind of spiff up this area over here. I'm back in the new fall sticker book and I want to take this cat right here and kind of bring this um, colorful box into the theme by just putting the cat right there. I have some extra stickers on my wax paper still. I might use them for like daily sheets. I haven't decided what I want to do with them yet. Always have an appointment on Tuesdays, so I'm going to get an appointment sticker for that. And we are in luck because there's all of these beautiful purple stickers. So I know I have one on Tuesdays. So this one is gonna go, hmm, how do I wanna do this? I wanna put it here. It kind of intersects this checklist. I might just cut the checklist shorter because it is a Tuesday and I don't normally have a lot going on on Tuesdays anyway. So I'm placing the appointment sticker first so I know how much to cut off of this checklist. It might look better just to leave it and not have functional space. Let me see. No, it's gonna look better to cut it. Yep, that looks perfect, just how I wanted. It's a special occasion. I should use my, my favorite washi tape, which I'm starting to run out of, and I've been looking for places to buy more of it. Have not found one yet, so if anyone knows a place where you can buy gingham washi tape specifically this gingham washi tape um like black and white i would love that whenever i search it it always corrects my search results to like buffalo plaid but i know that i want this specific washi tape and the way this one was marketed was as gingham washi tape And I'm not doing any like torn edges this week. I'm trying to keep it 
nice and neat in the confines of the boxes. This cat always confuses me because the cat is wearing like a sock on one foot and then a tail sock, but there's two feet that are available or like visible that aren't wearing socks. And I don't know about the other one, but I'm just very confused by like why the cat opted to wear the sock on its tail when it has three available feet. Um, so that is another question that I have for the maker of these stickers. This colorful box up here is starting to peel up already because I tried to reposition it so many times. So I'm just gonna do a little section like that to kind of keep it down. And then I'll do a similar one over here just to kind of even it out. So we've got three on this page, two on this page. I think it would be better if I just did one right underneath this bat cat, kind of to give it like some ground to stand on. It might be better if I bump this Happy Me Halloween sticker down before doing that, just so it doesn't get partially covered. And then we can layer it with some of this Happy Hostess striped washi tape, which I love so much. And I'm only gonna layer a couple spots with it just to keep it from getting too busy. Last night, which was October 17th. So we're working far ahead to make this spread. Not far ahead, it's like a week and a half. Um, but last night I finally finished the final season of Schitt's Creek. Um, a great show if you haven't seen it. I really like it. Um, another show that is a favorite of mine that I finally finished the other night was The Good Place. Though I had seen it, I, um, I just started re-watching it again now that it is on Netflix. So that is another one I recommend. And now I'm looking for a new show to start watching. Got a little bit over there, maybe a little bit over on Monday would be good. I think that's it for the washi tape. Maybe we could use a checklist here on Wednesday. There is space for it. I don't think it'll have a header like the rest of them, but it's gonna fit just perfectly right there. So, I mean, we have to do that. We need bullet points for the sidebar too. Not sure which book I'm gonna pull them from yet. Got all of these page flags and maybe we go with like the pumpkin orange. So I'm gonna place some bullet points in the sidebar and then I will be back when those are done. So here is the sidebar all filled with those cute little page flags. There wasn't enough room to put one last one, but I think it'll be fine. I could even put washi there if I really wanted to, but I think it'll be overkill. And with that, my Halloween cat spread is done. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content and follow me on Instagram at Caitlin Plans to see after the pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. Check out Eau Claire's Creations for cute stickers like this one. Love these clear quotes. I will leave the link to the shop and my coupon code in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and happy planning.